Hello and welcome. I'm Zinder and this is episode 7 of my Let's Play. And we were working on making an automatic, well not quite automatic, more of a mass harvesting wheat farm without the mass part at this current moment. And I had to remember what I was doing for a second there because it's actually been two days since the last time I recorded. So I had to take a look at what I was doing. Now, as you can tell, I've, I've already accomplished more in terms of what I meant to do at the end of last episode, which was making the lever. And it looks like, yeah, I'm going to have to make the half slabs that I originally intended to. So, um, I'll get right on that. Not a whole lot I can say about that. I mean, it's just half slabs. But I don't want the water pouring down in through like it was doing. So, we'll use the half slabs there. And I'm sure there would be a lot better way to do this, but this is partly just because I could, and I can always just take it apart and move it anytime I want. But now the water should flow the whole way down to the end. And there we go. Click the lever and it stops the water. And then it goes away. And the wheat would be down there for me to harvest. Um, I'll just put a half slab here. Make it easier to get down in there. And it will still block the water, so. But now I need to make... Okay, I need to not place things on the wall. That's what I need to do. But I'm going to need... Oh, and I'm also going to need to grab my seeds, which I'm not going to need all of them because I didn't build the farm big enough, and I built no way to easily access this. Pure genius. Whoa, what's going on there? Um... Actually, I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make it so the water can't flow. I'm trying to do a little bit of thinking. There's a skeleton outside my door. I almost feel the need to just kill him. Just, just for bones. Oh no, my torch. Oh, there's darkness up there. There's a spider coming after me, but I don't care about him at the moment. I should have enough bones from all the skeletons I've killed. Um, that's definitely a lot of bones. That's more bone mail than I could ever need at the current moment. But, uh, we'll just... I'm gonna use some bone mail. I didn't place any water down below like I had originally intended, so this is not going to grow unless I bone meal it, but... Um, I just mostly wanted to test and see if it works, which does, obviously. Um, I didn't leave the water on long enough, so everything didn't make it down to the end, but if I was really that worried about it, I could... Oh, come on. You know, I'm just going to take this out. That way it's not getting in my way. As long as I use shift to just sneak on these, I won't accidentally ruin them. Um, I don't have any water on me. Paleo bilge, it says. Or a water bucket. Why doesn't that one want to stay good? Probably because of the fact that I didn't have any water down through here, but I do now, so... Place that slap back right there. My redstone is showing. I didn't use quite as much redstone as I thought I was going to, but... Whoops. Okay, it doesn't look like I destroyed it. Um, now I have some wheat, so I won't starve to death at the immediate moment, but, uh... I, I don't plan on making this place permanent. 
with how it currently is. So I do plan to go a lot farther. An interesting name for that. Um, but I'm gonna need to. I'll probably just build it outside. Whoops! Forgot he was there. Wow, there must be a lot of darkness up there because enemies are just pouring out, and I don't really have any torches. And now I do. But now I don't really have any coal. I have a feeling I'm going to be stuck in a reoccurring cycle. I'm going to fix it at some point. Hey, maybe if I'm lucky, there'll be coal up here. Oh. Hey. Hey, now. Oh, I just realized that uh, the game is currently coming out of my surround sound, so you might not even be able to hear it, or... You will, and it's going to sound terrible, but I apologize for that, and I'm going to pause the game right after I kill the skeleton, and resolve that. So the audio for the first little while of this is just going to be crap. But, uh, wow, skeletons. I'm going to fix that, though. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back, and now the uh, sounds are coming through my headset, and... Um, actually, I don't know if you'd even be able to hear the game sounds at all from before, but, uh, you will be able to now, now that I fixed it. There's a good chance it might have actually recorded it, which I'm hoping it did, but, um, even if it did, there might even be a slight echo from it coming back through the microphone, or maybe it only recorded from the microphone, and I'm aware there's a zombie coming after me, but... Their AI is kind of stupid right now, so I'm not really concerned. I can hear him. I keep looking, but he's not showing up at all. Um, whenever I fix the sound, I also check to see how long it was recording, just so that way I don't go stupidly long like I did on the other ones. I didn't, I didn't really mean to, but... I mean, the one episode I acknowledged it, and then kept recording anyhow... So, I know have only me to blame for the length of that video. Um, I wanted to try and keep them around 15 minutes, but I haven't been doing so good at that so far. And the torch is in the wrong spot. Um, I I'm going to try and make a lot bigger effort on that. I just don't like to cut off the videos in the middle of building, but that last video reached 21 minutes, and I, I just had to stop it. I felt that was getting to be way too long thought that project was going to take less time than it did, and I'm not going to let time just sneak up on me like that again. And I really, at some point, want to make some TNT. I, I, I won't branch mine, but I will totally TNT mine, because it, it's just an explosive way to have some fun. And it's pretty quick, so I'm going to go completely overboard on it. I'm gonna like basically dig out an entire huge area doing that. Um, but getting the TNT is going to be very, very slow process unless I build a dark room trap, which I might. I've never really had much success in them actually spawning things, but the ones I built in single player have always been fairly small, so they're gonna be kind of crap. In general, and the ones on multiplayer, I don't think multiplayer spawning works properly, so. It's a little weird, and I, I, I'd mostly just given up on them. But, um, I'll probably make another attempt at it, hopefully it'll be successful, just so that way I can say that I had a, one successful actual darkroom tra trap that worked as intended, but, uh, that's gonna be a lot farther down the road, should I do that. Pew pew and stuff at me. Whoa. Ooh. 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 Hmm. Nah, good. Empty bucket. That'll make things easier. If I could find the end of this water. Yeah, somewhere I walked right past it. 
plenty of iron. Um, I think the biggest thing I'm having issues with right now, uh, I'm not overly concerned about diamond until I should say want a enchanting table, but um, uh, I'm to be honest, not really too concerned about that because without armor, I expect to die quite a bit, and uh, yeah, so my levels aren't me all that high and. An experience farm just seems kind of cheap, and being chased by zombies again. There's a spider over there. Okay, it looks like this room will link back into another part of the cave I'm in. I really need to get out of this cave, but I kind of want to get all the resources I can out of it first. And then we'll move on to building an actual house. Probably. Well, depending. If I get enough of different materials, maybe I'll just build a railway from here, so that way I can easily transport things to wherever I decide to move to. Or maybe I'll just get bored and go right on the ceiling. Ceiling. Uh, the ground outside of where I'm currently at. And I'm sure I've probably missed some resources, but I'm not exactly going through here at the slowest of paces. Like, a bunch of coal. I really need to get all that coal because I've been pretty low on it. Start with right here and go back through and get all of that. I hear a chicken, which means I'm not that far from the surface anymore. I wonder what that chicken's doing. But, uh, don't worry about him just yet. I I'm not that big a fan of snow biomes, so I, I really do plan to build this house somewhere not in a snow biome. I I'll build it near one, but I'm not going to build it in one. And I'm not sure why I haven't actually built a house yet, and why I just keep on building, uh, just keep on playing around in this cave, but it's here, it's fun, it's full of resources, and I don't want to have to go branch mining to get stuff. I want to avoid it, because it's boring, and normally branch mining ends to a lot of skipped video, and I didn't really want to do that. I mean, I could just make, like, a bonus episode of me digging, like, and just speed it up, just put, like, hours of branch mining and just speed it up into, like, one 15-minute video or something, but... I don't think anybody would want to watch that. I wouldn't. But who knows? Maybe people like watching sped up videos of people digging. But I don't want to cut things either, so that's why I'm going to avoid branch mining as much as possible. Or just in general. The only time I'll really do it is if I get really, really, really hard up for redstone. I really want it. Which, I enjoy making things out of redstone, so... I'm probably just going to look for deep caves. But I'm never going to know how deep I am, because I plan to avoid the F3 button. I could use it. I use it on multiplayer. But, uh, I don't want to use it for two reasons. Reason one is because of the fact that you guys will see my seed, and someone might go digging around for diamonds and try and spoil it for me. And, uh, two is because you guys won't be quite as, as impressed if you, you know, see what I'm looking for see what I'm looking for. If I, you know, see something and then either, you know, you could have already seen it. Oh, that's not good. I am out of pick. That is not good. Sword's almost broken. I have no picks. And I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. I hear a zombie, so this is probably not the right way. But, it might be. Oh. Oh. I'm sure you guys will recognize that. Because I sure do. Oop. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the uh, spider trap that's kind of failed at the moment. To my knowledge. Um. Cobble, cobble, more cobble. I really wish I 
wish I had more redstone. But I don't. Makes me sad. But what are you going to do? Right. I had to think of what I was, what I had came here for. I remember now. Came to make more pickaxes. And might as well make some more torches while I'm at it, right? Killed enough skeletons, I'm actually starting to get a supply of arrows, which is actually fairly impressive. Oh, apparently I had a whole stack of coal sitting inside of there. Unbeknownst to me, apparently. What am I doing? I need some organization of some sort. And I'm going to do this, just because I never have. poisoned me, but it put me at full food, so I'm just going to regenerate it back, so I'm not overly concerned. Got my tiny bit of wheat here. Just boned me up a ton more wheat, but I don't know. I'm not going to bother with that at the very moment. And since I'm just sitting here doing nothing anyway, and I looked at the time, and uh, yeah, so... I'm going to call this episode uh, good. This is episode 7 and we'll s I'll see you again in episode 8.